The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Well, the stakes could not be higher as not only is the WWE Women's Championship on the line, but as you just heard after that breaking news moments ago, this is to solidify the face of the Monday Night Raw Women's Division. The women's tag team titles taking a back seat, temporarily retired, to be replaced with the Women's World Championship for Friday Night SmackDown. We're gonna talk all about that in the weeks to come leading up to Survivor Series on Friday nights, but tonight, the spotlight is on the red brand, Monday Night Raw, and these two Raw superstars, Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley, set to go one-on-one -on -one for the top spot of the red brand as the WWE Women's Champion. Certainly the ante upped and just that little bit of news, but at the end of the day, the result remains the same for the man Becky Lynch, who has been on the hunt all year long for the WWE Women's title. Looking to finally stake her claim at the top of the mountain all over again. It's been a long and hard road back to number one contendership, but tonight Becky Lynch looks to take the fullest advantage as she gets Rhea Ripley one on one. And speaking of the devil, representing the Judgment Day, the Eradicator, the Nightmare, the WWE Women's Champion. Rhea Ripley brings an ominous presence over any arena she steps in especially on this big stage of Clash at the Castle. As one of the most dominant women in recent history walks her way down the aisle, you gotta wonder what is going through the mind of not just the challenger, but the champion, Rhea Ripley. Knowing that the last time she went one-on-one -on -one with Becky Lynch, it was a victory for the woman who opposes her tonight, that being the man herself. Rhea Ripley has tried to get the upper hand in recent weeks. She has gained some victories on Monday Night Raw. She has laid out Becky Lynch. Rhea obviously has some momentum on her side, but this is her first championship defense since winning that title last month at No Mercy. And of all people, Becky Lynch to be contesting her, you gotta wonder what the confidence level of the Eradicator is at tonight. Especially with a woman as hungry as Becky Lynch, who, as we just mentioned, went through a long and hard road to become number one contender all over again. But who wants it more? The WWE Women's title is on the line here in Principality Stadium. Let's send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, Becky And her opponent from Adelaide, Australia. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, both of these women fighting out of international soils tonight, but their roads cross right here in Cardiff, Wales. Rhea Ripley handing over that championship for the first and possibly the very last time in her newly won reign. The man, Becky Lynch, taking a look at the gold that she has been hungry for since her return at the top of 2023. But it's put up or shut up time. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Rhea Ripley, big boot off the get go, looking for the quick cover here. Oh man, I think that says a lot about Rhea Ripley's game plan tonight. But hold that thought as Becky Lynch now going eye for an eye. STF locked in on Rhea Ripley. And she tapped out Tiffany Stratton in the same maneuver several weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley has done her homework. And she better have. Because I think that opening boot leading to the pinfall tells a lot about the game plan of Rhea Ripley. 
She knows what we have discussed, and that is Becky Lynch owns a victory over the Nightmare, and Rhea is not looking to go into deep waters with the man Becky Lynch tonight. Rhea Ripley better not let that loss back in August shake her confidence. She won Money in the Bank in July for a reason. She cashed in successfully for a reason. It's not just because of the opportunity, it's because of the dominance, and it's because of the effort of Rhea Ripley, whether you like it or not. Nonetheless, Becky Lynch looks to be using the submissions as a crutch at the moment to try to get back into this matchup. In just the early moments, Rhea Ripley has come out explosive, but so has the man. Should be very interesting to see as this matchup progresses if either woman is going to get the momentum and keep it for a sustained period of time. Rhea right now is just trying to inflict as much damage as humanly possible on the man Becky Lynch. You see Becky rolling to the outside and Rhea not on the chase yet. Not looking to give Becky a window of opportunity. And Rhea Ripley, maybe she's looking for a count out here. I know it's early on, Becky's gonna get back to her feet, but just sending Becky to the outside, forcing Becky to use that energy to get back up, to get back inside of the ring, expend that energy. I'm sure Rhea Ripley has done a lot of homework alongside her Judgment Day brethren and Finn Balor and Damian Priest in the lead up to this matchup with Becky Lynch tonight. So far, Becky showed a couple of signs of life, but Rhea Ripley obviously came in with a blueprint and is not looking to stray from it. Becky is not looking good right now as the Nightmare sends her for a ride, and this has been all Rhea Ripley so far. Again, this is for the top spot in the Raw Women's Division. Women's World Championship on the way for Friday Night SmackDown. These two Raw superstars fighting it out to be the face of the red brand. Both of those women want that accolade. And Becky again, trying to get back into this. Rhea Ripley says otherwise and sends Becky back into the corner. Rhea Ripley is not giving Becky Lynch any room to breathe. Again, I think it speaks volumes of what Rhea Ripley's mindset is, what her confidence level may be against Becky Lynch. Realizing that Becky can and could possibly will defeat Rhea Ripley if Rhea gives her the opportunity to. Sending Becky into the corner. And again, that's a recent loss for Rhea Ripley. It was during her position as Mrs. Money in the Bank on Raw. It's not like it was a loss over a year ago, some time ago. It was just two months ago on Monday Night Raw where we saw Rhea fall to Becky Lynch. And obviously, the Eradicator has not forgotten. As once again, Becky goes to the outside and Rhea, I thought she could have been looking for a count out there, elects to get back to her feet and head to the outskirts. Looking to meet Becky Lynch out there, who is on roller skates right now. Rhea Ripley charging at her, goes for the clothesline, didn't get all of it, and Becky Lynch finds a window of opportunity, and there you go. That's what Becky's gotta do. Oh, but I, you know what? That might be smarter by Becky. Head back inside the ring. Don't give Rhea what she wants, taking things to the outside. There's obviously a lot of exposed destruction hanging by the wayside. Becky taking her time to get back into this thing, and she sends Rhea for a hard fall. And Rhea Ripley may be rocked. Becky Lynch picking her spots. Oh, no. Oh, no. But she got caught that time. Rhea sent her for a ride up and over the top. A horrendous fall for Becky Lynch, and Rhea makes her pay for a double. Man, there was insurance on that receipt. Rhea Ripley sending Becky Lynch over the top rope, down to the floor. That's already an emphatic fall. And then Rhea diving off the apron, crushing the rib cage of the man. And that thrust kicked moments ago, and Becky Lynch may be out cold. Rhea searching for a count out victory here. She could not believe or she could believe that she can't beat the man Becky Lynch with a three count as she once again sends Becky to ringside and Rhea Ripley is going to try any means necessary to retain her title tonight. And Becky gets back inside obviously a little bit faster, only a two count, but you see Becky is starting to slow down physically. Oh, it has a nice clothesline. Don't speak too soon. The man got to where she was. 
for not by mistake. Starting to reel there. Rhea Ripley gets caught in a nice neck breaker by the number one contender. Becky Lynch has been to the main event of WrestleMania. She's held championships all across WWE. She's won the Royal Rumble match. She's looking to do it again. Looking to win the big one. And Becky, oh man, mean slap. Another shot. There goes Becky. Numerous strikes. Again, stick and move. Now drops the signature leg. And she's going for a dose. One of the maneuvers that helped her gain victory last month at Unforgiven over the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Now Becky Lynch is really starting to pick up steam. Rhea Ripley is hurt, and the tides of change are coming in this match. Becky again, drops the leg, and again, and Rhea Ripley, dead center of the ring. Becky's gonna catch her here. And almost, almost had her. Oh, look at Rhea Ripley, immediately realized she was in the pitfall, kicked out, sprung to her feet, but Becky Lynch has now got the STF locked back in on the nightmare. A tap out, bleeds victory for Becky Lynch. Is she moments away from becoming the new WWE Women's Champion? Oh, Rhea Ripley breaking the hold, breaking the grip of the man. And some simple yet effective elbows to the back. Oh, wait a minute. Electric chair position. Instead goes face first, and Becky might have caught the ropes on the way down. Well, that was certainly one way to get back into this, but Rhea not watching her ring awareness that time, letting her sense of urgency take over, and Becky Lynch had a clear-cut way to kick out, grabbing the ropes, and the matchup progresses. Becky Lynch showed some signs of life, but after the... Dominance of Rhea Ripley so far. How much does Becky have left? Counter for counter. And another big boot by the Nightmare. And Rhea Ripley brings a presence that I don't think any other woman has. It's different than Asuka. It's different than Shayna Baszler, some of the women who have dominated the division over the last year and change. Rhea Ripley is a different cat inside of the ring. And that's the reason she's on top right now. Becky Lynch has got to find a window, man. She's got to take advantage. Maria Ripley is starting to wrestle her style of match. And as she takes things to the top rope, the power going to be on display. Or maybe not just yet. Hard fall for Rhea. Huge counter by Becky Lynch, who's now alone on the top. And elects for the somersault that takes the champion off her feet. Huge maneuver by Becky Lynch. Rhea looked to be going for a superplex. The man was able to get out of it. And now she's got the champion dazed. And Becky's not done just yet. Hooking Rhea Ripley and sending her for a ride. Becky's got a couple suplex variations in her arsenal. Obviously gonna take more out of Becky than he usually does to lift somebody the size and stature of Rhea Ripley. But nonetheless, Rhea gets taken to the outside. Becky's starting to find her groove. Now, once again, the count begins. Becky Lynch cannot win the title via count out, however. It's one thing to use her surroundings to her advantage momentarily, but she's got to get the champion back inside the ring if she wants to leave Cardiff Wales as the WWE Women's Champion. Rhea sent back inside, and the man is starting to rally here in Principality Stadium could be a huge comeback victory, especially with how this match started, with Rhea Ripley dominating, controlling the pace. If Becky Lynch can find a way to win, what a victory it could be. All counter by Rhea. Collar and elbow there. Becky gets sent to the corner. He goes right down to the canvas. No life left as Rhea Ripley is looking to kick whatever out of Becky Lynch that's still there. Now Rhea Ripley just beaten down on the number one contender. And just like that, snap of the fingers, the Nightmare finds herself back in control of her championship defense. And once again, Becky barely sent into the corner. And I say barely because the lights may be on, but nobody is home. And Becky Lynch gets ragdolled to the outside, proving our point that things may be nearing an end. And Becky Lynch may be out of it.
Rhea is not done. Thought she could have been looking for the count out, but instead brings things to the outside. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, man. Big time slam. That is a hard fall for Becky. She has taken a lot of those to the outside of this match. And again, Rhea's got Becky up. Goes to the well. Too many times, Becky with the counter. Oh, Rhea rushing back inside the ring. Not gonna allow Becky Lynch to get what she wants that time. Becky on her tail. Rhea with a tackle down. Thought Becky Lynch had a chance to get back into this match. The Nightmare said otherwise. But the man's got a different plan. Wait a minute! Manhandle slam! Ball game! Game over! No! Rhea Ripley kicks out! How close was that? Becky saw a chance, and she took it! A leap of faith with that manhandle slam, but not enough to keep Rhea down. And you notice what Becky Lynch just went to. She went to the arm of Rhea Ripley, possibly trying to soften it up for a disarmer. However, Rhea Ripley, a sense of urgency out of the women's champion, muscles up Becky Lynch and sends her down to the canvas with emphatic force. Business is picking up as we enter championship rounds in this women's division contest. Oh, now Becky Lynch, wait a minute, may have got caught herself because the Rhea Ripley just hit the riptide. But the Eradicator does not have enough to keep down Becky Lynch. Becky is still in it. Cardiff Wales is coming unglued as Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch leave it all inside the ring tonight. The manhandle slam doesn't do it. The riptide doesn't do it. Things getting taken to the outside again and Rhea Ripley comes flying down on the man. We said it before, we'll say it again. The size and stature of Rhea gonna take more out of Becky Lynch than a normal fight. Becky is feeling the brunt of it right now. She might have survived the riptide, but she's certainly not thriving at the moment. He sent right into the steel ring post. Becky Lynch might rue the day. She decided to step to the nightmare Rhea Ripley. As Becky gets sent back inside the ring, how much life is left by the looks of it. It looks as none. Rhea Ripley is looking to pick the bones like a predator seeking their prey. And Becky Lynch is a wounded animal. Oh no, wheels are spinning. The Nightmare looking for a second riptide. Into the cover goes Rhea Ripley. Becky Lynch has been eradicated. Becky Lynch has got nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. It's been a rocky 2023, and I know how hard she fought for the number one contendership, but right now, Rhea Ripley is riding a wave of momentum that maybe nobody can stop. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's Champion, Rhea. Statement victory as Rhea Ripley takes her place atop Monday Night Raw as the WWE Women's Champion. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.